Bine v-am găsit, dragi telespectatori, la o nouă ediție a emisiunii Puterea Rugăciunii. Astăzi îl avem împreună cu noi pe un invitat special al emisiunii acesteia, un frate care vine de departe în România. Este fratele Milo, care vine din Noua Zeelandă și ocazia acestei înregistrări este conferită de conferința de rugăciune care a avut loc la Timișoara în, în luna septembrie 2015. Milo, thank you so much for uh, first of all for coming in Romania. Uh, welcome in Romania. I want to tell you this <laughs> and welcome in this uh, program from Alpha Omega, the power of prayer. Mm. Um, I want to uh, ask you to to present yourself a little bit to uh, say something about you and about your ministry, about your call from the Lord to be involved in prayer. Yeah, well, uh, my name is uh, uh, Milo uh, C. Ilata. I'm actually from uh, uh, a nation called Samoa. In the, in the Pacific, we have lots of little islands. Yes. So I'm from the Pacific. It's a, it's a big ocean. Uh, but right now, I'm uh, uh, living in New Zealand. So I live in New Zealand. My wife is from New Zealand and we have five children. I'm one of the leaders uh, for, for the Pacific prayer movement. And I'm currently the coordinator for the whole Pacific for our, what we call the All, All People's Prayer Assembly. Yes. It started off as the South Pacific mm -hmm. and then it became the All Pacific and then uh, 90, uh, 2009, we moved to the Americas, 2012 into Asia. So we're moving out of the Pacific and we're following a particular vision of the glory from the ends of the earth to Jerusalem, 2017. So our background really is ministry and prayers for a long time now. Basically praying uh, and also following a vision of the revelation of the glory in Jerusalem, 2017. So we're not just praying, but we are, f we are like uh, the wise men from the East, yes. following a star to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. We're doing the same thing. The star this time is the Lord Jesus himself as the yes. King of Glory. So we just follow him in the spiritual realm, yes. believing that in 2017, God will officially launch his move of the glory for the end times. And this year, It's in Europe, so that's why, that's why we're here. Yes. From the Pacific and other nations of the world gathering here in Romania for the European prayer gathering uh, because we can see that the Lord and His glory is now arriving in Europe. So this is why we're here. Well, thank you so much for doing this because mm. for us, like uh, people of this continent, it's so important to, to understand the timing of the Lord. What is in your heart for Europe for this year? Yeah, well, actually we were, we were in Finland two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason being was uh, before we come to Romania, we want to honor Finland. For some reason, Finland was the only nation from Europe that has been joining us in the Pacific mm -hmm. from day one, yeah. since 92. So they've been, so we came to honor them and thank them. Uh, and it was there that the Lord gave us uh, a, a new word for Europe. Acts chapter 16, where Paul, uh, on his uh, journey up to Asia Minor, he wanted to go to the east. And the Holy Spirit stopped him twice. And during the night, he saw a vision of the man from Macedonia. And so the whole mission of the gospel went to the west instead of the east. But this time, this year, Uh, the Lord gave us a word that the gospel went to the West and from Europe, the gospel went all over the world. Yes. And so now, this year, 2015, we believe the gospel has come full circle mm -hmm. back to Europe. Back to Europe. Yeah, so, you know, back into the Middle East, back into Europe. So it's a very uh, prophetic time. We don't fully understand what that means, but I believe it is a new season in the glory of the Lord for the whole uh, continent of Europe. This was a very special moment, really, this morning, when there uh, was this um, uh, acknowledge of uh, this continent to be the one who sent missionary all over the, the world, even in America. They have been, they le le left from Europe. Very true. 
you feel it's uh, we are uh, the moment of uh, starting of a strong revival in Europe. Absolutely, I, I believe that the, the the move of the glory of the Lord uh, will increase everything: revival, the anointing, the gifts. I mean, it's still the same gospel, still the same Holy Spirit, still the same word, but it's like it's coming in a new revelation through the glory of the Father. So yes, it is a new 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 season uh, for Europe. Uh, and even uh, this morning, today, a very special day, even for us, uh, especially uh, for me uh, personally, to represent not just the Pacific, but uh, all the nations of the world mm -hmm. that receive the gospel from Europe. Yes. This is, uh, we have been waiting for this day for many, many years. We wanted to have a day where we can come to Europe and say thank you because we see Europe as, the, as our spiritual fathers, our spiritual mothers. You were the one that brought the gospel to Asia, to the Americas, to Africa, and to the Pacific. And this was the first time the gathering of the spiritual fathers of Europe here in Romania, in Timisoara, this is the perfect moment, perfect time for us to say uh, thank you for bringing the gospel and to thank, uh, forgive us because we killed many missionaries. Many missionaries died. Sometimes we ate them. <laughs> Cannibalism, we ate the missionaries. Uh, a lot of the time they died of uh, diseases. Yeah. Many of them never came back. They, their, their, their graves are still <laughs> out there. So we can never repay uh, your continent and your, for the gospel, bringing the gospel but we ask that the Lord will repay you on our behalf and bless this continent where the gospel came from. And really it's uh, such a huge blessing over Romania and particularly over this city because God ch uh, ch uh, chose this place and yes. this moment and this nation yeah. to do this in the heart of Europe. Uh, yes. In a not a very important nation of Europe, let's say Romania, is not one of the biggest nation of Romania, but God chose this moment and this uh, place. Actually, uh, last year we were in Jerusalem. We have a leadership meeting in Jerusalem every year where we ask the Lord, where do we go the next year? And the Lord said that this year, 2015, is for uh, Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, and we were asking where, and even Papa Johan Peya was there. And the Lord said that uh, it's Romania, it has to be Romania. Uh, it's because uh, the move of the glory always come from the East. Mm -hmm. So even though the, the gospel came out of Western Europe, yes. all over the world, but it's coming back through the East. The glory of so, God. Yeah, so the Eastern Europe is the gateway yes. for the glory to come back from the East. Mm -hmm. So you and Romania are right on the Eastern side of Europe, yes. you know, yeah, and it's the, it's the right place. Yes. And so we believe this is the right place. And I remember really this summer we have been in a prayer conference in uh, the eastern uh, gate. gate of Romania mm. at the Black Sea was a women conference and we proclaimed the, open, uh, the gate Gates. of Romania to open for the King of wow. Glory. So this was uh, by women done uh, yes. in uh, maybe two, two months ago wow. happening wow. in uh, Romania, yes. God is preparing and yes. uh, his strategy is uh, moving uh, everything around. So it's so important what you share with us. It's a big encouragement for us like yeah. nation because with a lot of corruption or dark clouds that are over yes. Romania now, uh, maybe even Christians, they don't have too much, um, let's say, faith or hope for mm. future. But in the other hand, we know God is preparing something huge mm. for our nation and for Europe also. And we are happy to be part of this and to be like Alpha Omega, to witness mm. what God is doing now mm. in, in Romania and not only in Romania. Uh, share about the prayer movement in the uh, Pacific. Uh, it's so, for us it's far away and mm. it's hard to imagine how it's to travel from island to island. Mm. Or it's yeah. something unusual for us. Yes, uh, the Pacific is huge yes. area-wise. Mm. It covers one third of the surface of the earth. Yes. So we are a big area. But our nations are so tiny, little islands. Yes. 
apart from Australia is big, New Zealand is big, Papua New Guinea, the rest is in there in the ocean somewhere. But the prayer movement actually, um, actually it started back in, um, at the first World Prayer Assembly in Seoul, South Korea, 1984. That was the first time the world gathered to really pray. Yes. And they had 10,000 people from overseas. And then you can't count the thousands in Korea. That was a big prayer movement. That's the first one. Yes. So that gave birth to many prayer movements around the world, including us from the Pacific. Yes. So we are the result of that from Korea to the Pacific. And so in this prayer movement, the Lord gave us a, a vision. Uh, and it started in the Solomon Islands. Like, and don't worry if you don't know where it is. The Solomon Islands was the last nation in the world to receive the gospel. Yes. Yes, in 1894. So when the gospel left Jerusalem, it went into Europe. From Europe, it went all over the world. And the last nation, we in the Pacific, were the last to receive the gospel. And so the last of the last was the Solomon Islands the baby in the family. Yes. You know, if we see uh, Israel as the firstborn of God, the older son, mm -hmm. every nation is a son. Yes. Well, we the Pacific, we are the youngest in the family. And so the youngest of the youngest is a Solomon Island. And that's where God released this vision of the, of the move of the glory in the last days. And so the leading prophet who, in our moment, who's not here, he cannot make it here because of visa problems. <laughs> So, but anyway, I'll share the vision. Um, so this was in 1986. So after Korea, 1986, this is the vision he got. From the Solomon Islands, he saw pure water coming from the mountain. It came into a dam. Yes. It filled up and then it overflowed. Mm -hmm. And as it overflowed, it turned into a little cloud, like a little mist. Yes. And he saw the map of the Pacific. And he saw this little cloud went around once and then twice. And then from a nation called Papua New Guinea, mm -hmm. he saw the little cloud increase mm -hmm. into uh, like the back of an outboard motor, you know, on the jet boat you see the, at the back. Yes. Like, mm -hmm. he saw three of these things flying from Papua New Guinea across the Pacific to America. It hit uh, California, Los Angeles, around that area. Uh, California anyway, yes. and then it split up. One went north to Canada, North Pole. One went South America, South Pole. But the middle one went straight to the East Coast. And then it, it turned around in the East Coast and connect from the North to the South, a tsunami, mm -hmm. like a tidal wave yes. of the glory. And then it sweep over the Americas, over the Pacific, over Asia, and then it over Europe, Africa, mm -hmm. and then they came to Jerusalem and they formed a circle around Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And then it hit Jerusalem from every side. Yes. And it went up like a uh, nuclear explosion, you know, the pillar and then the cloud. Mm -hmm. And then the cloud came and covered the whole earth. And then he heard these words, uh, the glory of the Lord shall cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. So that, that vision is 29 years old. It's old for us. Yes. But we have been like the wise men from the East, following, following yes. every year. And so 2013, we believe, was the Americas. Mm -hmm. 2014 was in Asia. 2015 this year is year. Europe. 2016 will be Africa. Mm -hmm. And then 2017, we will be in Jerusalem for the official launching of the glory of the Lord. It's just the beginning of the end times. We've got a long way to go yet. Yes. <laughs> so so that's, that's basically the praying and the moon and the vision. That's what we've been doing. Well, this is very interesting and uh, very um, clarifying for us, like uh, God's people, to understand really mm. God's timing. It's important for us to understand God's season and mm. what He's doing and what to expect and mainly to focus on Israel and Jerusalem because yes. He's... That's a center. It's, yes. He's His uh, clock, He's for all nations. For all nations. Yes. 
I want to ask you, let's say, a practical question. When you have gathering in uh, ocean, in a uh, Pacific Ocean, you mm. you come together in one place from uh, many islands. Yes. We are coming together. It's a big effort for you to travel yes. in this way. So. Uh, how is the prayer movement? How are the people of God in uh, in this island of Pacific? They are uh, very open to the gospel. It's uh, it's revival in your area. What you can share with us? The Pacific, we have the same problems as everyone else around the world. Although on paper we are the number one Christian nation in the world, the region, because uh, around 90% are supposed to be Christians. But uh, as you know, most of us are very traditional. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of us are not born again. We don't have a personal relationship with God. Uh, we don't miss out on the, on the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So even though we have Christianity, but not full, <laughs> not the fullness of God, but the prayer moment and the revelation of the glory is slowly changing things uh, in, the, in the region. When we gathered, we don't have a program. We don't have speakers. Yes. We just gathered and the Lord is a speaker. Yes. And whatever program he has, that's the program. And the Lord will choose his own speaker if there's a message that would come through someone's heart. So it's very, very simple the way we run things. Uh, the main difficulty, of course, is because the Pacific is so big and travel is very expensive, not only within the region, but we come to Israel every year. Our people come to Israel. So it takes us 30 hours just to travel from the Pacific to Jerusalem. Yes. Give you some idea. You are blessed. You're right next door. <laughs> <laughs> right next we door, come yes. a long way, you know. Coming back to this revelation about the glory of God. Mm. Um, what is in your heart now for, for Israel for this year and next year? Let me just go back. 2003, uh, the Lord first appeared in the Pacific, not, not physically, in the spiritual realm, as the glory of the Father in his four faces. So this is how we're seeing him, like we're watching him every year following. Uh, he's appearing to us not just the Pacific, but to the whole world now in four faces. One, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Two, Captain and Commanders of the Army of the Living God, the military one. Three, the lover, the bridegroom, yes. looking for his girlfriend. <laughs> Fourth, the righteous judge of all the earth. Mm -hmm. So this is how he's appearing to us. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, this morning, uh, Johan was talking about welcoming him as the commander of the armies of the living God, the military face. But in this gathering in Timisoara for the continent, I think his main revelation is coming as the bridegroom. So these are the four faces of the Lord right now as the king of glory. And he is on a march, like a triumphal march, yes. from the ends of the earth to Jerusalem. Two more years, he arrived. And in 2017, this is, what he, this is what he will do. This is what he told us, revelation. So yeah, as, uh, as you know, not, not every revelation is from the Lord. We need to check them and confirm yes. these things. Yes. But this is what the Lord said. In two years time, when he arrived in Jerusalem, during the Feast of Tabernacle or Sukkot 2017, it will be the third invasion of planet Earth by God himself in person. The first invasion of the planet Earth by God was through the birth of his son, when Jesus was born to invade the planet Earth because Satan was ruling the Earth. The second invasion was through the Holy Spirit poured forth for the whole world. But the third invasion, in two years time, it would be the glory of the Father revealed. So it's just the beginning. The word revealed gives us a clue that it's going to be a long process. Yes. You know, so the, we from the Pacific, we are very simple people. So God talks to us in pictures that children can understand. Yes. So the Lord said, Jerusalem 2017 
is the beginning of the day of the Lord. Like, just like a normal day, you see the sun, first of all, this dark, and then the dawn, and then the sunrise, the break of day. And then you see the sun rising up, and as it rises up, it gets hotter and hotter. And when it reaches, it's the hottest time of the day. So the Lord said that 2017 is just a sunrise, just the beginning. And then it will take years for the glory to rise over Israel, over the nations. Yes. And finally, at the hottest time of the day, it will be the end of the age, the resurrection and all those things at the end of the age. So that's a picture. And also, if you look at the Bible, the glory always comes from the east. And Isaiah chapter 60, where the arise and shine. So as the Lord is rising over Israel, he is calling us all, not just Israel, but all the nation to rise up as well with him because it's a new day. It talks, the glory always comes from the East. Everyone is doing that now using Psalm 24, like you've just done with the ladies on the Eastern side of Romania. Welcome the King of glory, welcome the glory from the East. So everyone is doing around the world. But in 2017, we're inviting the whole world to come to Jerusalem. That will be the official welcome for the King of Glory to come. And Psalm 24, as you know, this welcoming the King of Glory is not new. The first one to do that was King David. And he's the one that wrote Psalm 24. Yes. When he welcomed the glory in, into Jerusalem, as soon as he took over Jerusalem, he wanted the King of Glory to be the center of his capital. And he set up, even though he was not allowed to build the temple, but he still put up a simple tent, the Tabernacle of David, and he put 24 seven worship the glory, anyone can go there, women, children, men. That's what God is gonna bring back. Another picture, if I can give you another example, the Lord gave us is cooking popcorns. You know popcorn, yes, you yes. go to the movies, yes, yes. we no, eat popcorn. No, I was in America in 2013, the land, because that's where popcorn came from. Yes. The Native Americans, mm -hmm. the first one. So the Lord said, this move of the glory is like cooking popcorn. The Lord said, I'm going to come with my presence and I'm going to cook the earth. Okay. <laughs> so we're all going to be cooked by the presence of the Lord. And as the heat of the glory increases over in the next few years, you're going to see things all over the world pop, 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 pop. Economic pop, political pop, parliament, governments, yes. natural disaster, whatever. Yes. Is, things are going to be popping yes. louder and louder and louder. And then the Lord said, the last thing to pop at the end of the age will be dead bones popping out of the graves on the day of resurrection. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was in uh, Finland two weeks ago. Yes. And the Lord gave me another picture. The sauna or sauna. Yeah. Finland has more sauna than any yes. other nation. It seems they, invade, they invaded they, yeah, it. Yeah, they invented it. A nation of six million people, apparently there are four and a half million saunas. They say sauna or sauna yeah. in Finland. And the Lord said, it's the same picture. I'm going to put you into my sauna or sauna where God is going to increase the glory, the heat intensity in the world. And normally things happen, you have to take your clothes off. Yeah. You have to come to the Lord naked. Transparency, complete nakedness. Yeah. And the fire represents the Holy Spirit. And people always put the water to cause a steam. So it's the fire of the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. The temperature is going to rise and every impurity in us will be sweated out of us. <laughs> Another picture of the glory of the Lord. It's a picture of her preparing the brides. Exactly. Of purification of yes. the bride of yeah, God. That's it. Well, thank you so much for everything you share with us. And really, I feel it was a big blessing for our nation to hear all this. And um, may God bless you and keep you and uh, mm. give you much more, everything you need for this new season. In Timisoara, Romania, this is for the continent. And you heard this morning, they have now adopted a new name for Europe. Yes. Europe was the old name, but now with Beulah. So it's a new name for the continent. And whenever you have a new name, you have a new identity, a new destiny, new calling new giftings, new anointing. So it's a new day for your continent. And I'm very excited for that. But from the leadership, because I, I sit in the leadership circle, the word is coming out loud and clear for this gathering. 
It said the Lord wants to marry the continent Amen. of Beulah. Yes. So for the last two days today, and maybe the climax of this gathering, we're going to have a marriage where the new continent that was called Europe, now Beulah, yes. will be married to the Lord. Yes. It's a whole new beginning for your continent. And for us from outside the continent, we are here to be witnesses Amen. for your wedding. Amen. So I'm really excited and I, I just know in my heart that this is a critical time uh, you know, for the continent. It's the beginning of a whole new season for this continent of Beulah. Uh, for the glory of the Lord. I mean, it's a restoration time for, for our, yes. our continent. Yes. Yes, it's yeah. very interesting because we are just entering in this uh, year of uh, Jubilee. Uh, wow. Next, uh, the 13th of September this year. Yes. And it's, uh, we see it's a restoration God is doing all yes. over the world now, yes. preparing yeah. the globe for His yes. coming glory now. There are a lot of key scriptures about this move of the glory, but the one that comes right now is in, you know, Acts chapter you know, uh, 3, where it talks about uh, repent, you know, Peter preaching on the day of Pentecost. Mm -hmm. Repent therefore, so that your sins may be forgiven, so that times of refreshing or revival mm -hmm. may come from the presence of the Lord. And then it talks about that Jesus will be in heaven until the times of the restoration of all things. Yes. So I believe that this coming, Jesus coming as the glory, is now the beginning of the restoration. Yes, we will have revival, we will have all that, but more than that is the restoration is the key word for this move of the glory of the Lord. Mm -hmm. The restoration of the fallen tabernacle of David, mm -hmm. the restoration of Zion, mm -hmm. the restoration even of the kingdom, uh, knowing that uh, uh, just before Jesus went to heaven, the disciple asked, when will he restore the kingdom to Israel? Yes. And Jesus said, you don't know the times of the Father. First of all, take the gospel from the ends of the earth, from Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth, and then those times will come. So I believe those times is now. Yeah. Now is the time for the, the restoration. The is already was proclaimed to the end of the earth. There you go. Yes. So it's done. So it's time for the restoration. Yes. So good news, whatever the problem in our nation, the glory himself, the Lord himself is here to fix it. Because if you look at the history of the church, we make a mess of everything. We've done our best and the church is dying everywhere. Even in the Pacific where I come from, the church is dying. But I, it's good news because the Lord is closing an old age and now it's going to launch a new age. The move of the glory is just, you know, it's, this, the best is yet to come. So it's exciting, you know, very exciting about that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Miguel. No Thank problem. you for all this vision you share with us, and I hope it's a big encouragement for all day can yeah. watch this program. May God bless you abundantly. Thank you so your, much. Yeah. Dragi telespectatori, aceasta a fost o ediție specială a emisiunii Puterea Rugăciunii și cred că ați fost încurajați și binecuvântați de tot ceea ce ați auzit. Um, o să urmăriți aceste inserturi um, de care, la care s-a referit Milo într-o altă emisiune Puterea Rugăciunii, dar chiar au fost niște momente cu totul speciale în această conferință de la Timișoara din septembrie 2015 legat de restaurarea unor lucruri în națiunea noastră și în continentul nostru. La nouă ediție a emisiunii Puterea Rugăciunii, Dumnezeu să vă binecuvinteze!